It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November 1st through the 14th. So the first two weeks of November for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? We got two. We're going to have to take them. Oh. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. So, you may be asked to forgive. Not an easy thing. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you are changing your energy. So, you're going to be changing your energy. And forgiveness is part of it. Okay? To forgive, it you know, you may have to change your energy. So it's not easy to forgive. That means, you know, you you you're being nice, you know, you're being nice. You're looking at things from a positive perspective instead of a you know, a fuck you perspective, you know, so it's not an easy thing to do. So let's let's uh get started with this one. What do we have for Gemini? Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positive. Think positive. Your thoughts become things. You are changing your energy. You're changing your energy. That's a pile. We're not taking a pile. One of them was over, overcoming obstacles, but I only want one. Stepping into power. Stepping into power, Gemini. You are strong beyond measure. Stepping into power. So you're going to be stepping into a powerful position. Let me read it. You are strong beyond measure. Take back your power. So going to focus. There we go. Stand in your own light. Even if your burden seems heavy, it makes you stronger. If you've been standing on the sidelines or are queasing to the needs of others, this card is letting you know it's time to stand up for yourself. The challenges you faced are making you stronger. You no longer need to live your life for others. Yet, if you choose, your light can illuminate the path for those who walk beside you. That's if you choose. The greatest power is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. If you've lost or given away your authority to someone or something else, it's time to reclaim it. If you're afraid of standing in your truth because you're afraid of being judged, shunned, or rejected, it's time to let go of your hesitation. If you've been carrying responsibility for others, responsibilities for others, you're stronger for it. However, it's, dis it's time to decide to either let them go or continue forward with them but on your terms. You have a remarkable inner spiritual power that is born of sacred love, wisdom, and grace. So you're going to, these next two weeks in November, the first two weeks of November, you're going to be standing into your, standing in your power, stepping into your power, making a decision by the looks of things, embracing a moment, um, Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you need to forgive others. Sometimes walking away is the best thing to do instead of acting out of bitterness. Um, so let's see. What do we got for Gemini? Stepping into power. Oh, 
What do we have for Gemini? Mmm. Six of Wands reversed. Seven of Cups. Death reversed. This is like a near death experience. May or may not survive. This is fighting. Fighting, fighting, fighting. It's fighting a very big battle. This is confusion, options, choices, consequences. Seeing the light. Light is going to be shed, okay? There's something is there's some sort of revelation here, okay? Light is there's light, okay? Coming out of the darkness, coming into the light. Something is coming into the light, being seen, being shown. No more hiding, coming out of hiding. Somebody's coming out of hiding. You may be coming out of hiding. You're going to be thinking a lot, though, because this can be introspection. Could go either way, but this is seeing the light coming out of hiding, something being revealed. Um, happiness. It's very, this is extreme happiness. Um, this is, this is light as well. So there is some sort of happiness here coming out of darkness. Truth is being revealed. A release of fear. There's been some sort of paranoia. Um, this is a need to heal. Go within uh, time. Take time to, to plan your next move. Time out. Time to, to relax. You know, you may need time to heal from something. Um, this Six of Wands reversed, though, that's some sort of fight, conflict, battle. Um, losing, you know, it could be losing something. This is somebody that is very smug, very cocky, uh, that has an overinflated ego. This could be some unwelcome news. I'm not, I'm just being honest with you. Okay, the Six of Wands reversed is typically unwelcome news, but it is fighting a very big battle. The battle isn't over yet. It doesn't mean you lose. It just means that this is going to be a battle. The, the fight isn't over yet, okay, because this is happiness, okay. Um, this is a dream come true. This right here is a reality check, a release of fear. This is looking deeper. Somebody, you know, I think we may need to look deeper. Look a little bit deeper here. I think we are going to need to look deeper. This is, this is not over. Okay, this is not over. So something may happen. It's not going to end as you think it's going to end. Um, this death, death reversed is, it's not over. There's no, um... There's going to be some sort of indecision. There's going to be a delay, okay? Um, there may be an incident that causes some sort of upheaval, some sort of confusion. There's going to be some sort of confusion here. It's not going to, there's not going, it's not going to end. It's not going to be over. You know what I mean? It's not going to be over like you think it's going to be over. Oh, partnership. We have a union here. Something, there's unfinished business here. Something isn't over. Now, the Two of Cups is a union, partnership, uh, compatibility, uh, coming together. Ooh, Page of Wands. There's somebody coming into your life. Okay, I don't know if it's a child or something. I don't know what this is, but this some this is this is a happy family. Okay, this is extreme happiness. Needing to make a choice, you're probably gonna have to make a choice. This is good news coming in regards to a partnership, in regards to a union, um, an offer or an invite from somebody. This is a new discovery, a new direction. Um, Taking a new new approach of some sort. This is exciting. It's news. Good news is arriving. I don't know if it's from a partner. Good news is arriving from some a partner. Good news. This is somebody bursting into your world. Somebody that is very, very well suited for you. If you are single, if you are single and you are completely single, 
or whatever the even if I don't know even if you're not there is somebody this is somebody uh, very well suited this is a very good partnership whatever this is a partnership that can grow so you may be partnering up with somebody and whether it's a love relationship or not this is a this is a very uh, very fertile partnership a very fertile union that death card reversed though this is not over something isn't ending um, a union isn't over it's not going to end um, this is a new this is exciting new beginning um, this is an exciting opportunity this is a very positive outcome but you will need to follow through this this you need to follow through you know what I mean it feels like there's some sort of seeds, you know, that you have planted. You've planted some seeds a long time ago, and they're, they're coming to fruition now, okay? They're kind of, somebody's probably coming out of hiding, you know? If somebody has been, you know, hiding behind the scenes or whatever, they're gonna, they're, they've been, maybe they've been fighting their ego, you know? Uh, battling their ego. They're, gonna, they're about to um, show up. Oh, that death card reverse, though, is a delay. That is a delay. Um, indecision held back by fear. Somebody is held back by fear. There's also, that seven of cups says be careful. Be careful what you choose. Be careful with your choices because what you own owns you. You are going to be... Uh, hold on, let me get another card. Needing to forgive. Needing to forgive somebody. Who the hell is this person? Somebody may have been unfaithful. Knight of Pentacles reverse. That's somebody that is irresponsible, unfaithful, jealous, uh, lazy, um, not qualified, uh, a sponger of some sort, somebody that is greedy. Could be an ex. <laughs> I just spit it right out there. It could be an ex. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Pisces. Could be Cancer. Could be Virgo. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio here as well. Um, this is stop. This is stop. This is a cheater. I feel like you're dealing with a cheater. And I don't know if it's, I don't know, somebody that cheats. They bet they're hiding something. Whatever they're hiding is going to be revealed. So you're you are dealing with a cheater here. There's consequences. That ten of cups is happiness. That's things getting better. That's permanent love. The storm is over. That storm is over. Um, this is freedom, free, breaking free from a toxic situation, taking control, but this can also be a disaster. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is obsessed, this person is obsessed, they're obsessed with money, materialism, uh, they're they're very very unhealthy. They they follow their pack. You know this person follows the pack, and I feel like this person uh, well, this is like a disaster to me. It looks like it's almost like a disaster. It's lying. Um, the devil reverse. This is breaking free things or things getting worse. Uh, anxiety and depression, uh, breaking free from an addiction, breaking free. This is breaking free from an addiction, making a choice to break free. Seeing clearly after not seeing clearly, I'm being confused because this is confused, confused about um, what direction to go whether you want to bound yourself or bind yourself to this again or not uh, there's because that is that the devil reversed is, is a a need to break free 
And I feel like you have an option because this is options. You have options. You have an, you do. You have some sort of option, some sort of choice that you need to make this month. This is some sort of suffering. Somebody is suffering. They're in some. They are. They're suffering. They're sick. They're unhealthy. But obsessed. We have obsession here. We have somebody here that is very obsessed. I'm not sure if we have somebody here that is obsessed with their body even. Be careful with your choices. You're going to be making a choice. choice to break free from some sort of addiction, some sort of codependency that has kept you trapped. There could be some sort of delay though because of that Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Death card reversed. There's some sort of level of indecision or delay or uh, Well, we do have a golden opportunity here, so that's good. Taking a new opportunity after being delayed. So there's been some sort of delay, but this is a new opportunity for success. A golden opportunity, going down a new path. I think the delays are probably over. Perhaps you have been waiting. You've been waiting for something. The delay is over. This is now you getting your reward. This is a reward. This is a golden opportunity to go down a new path. Uh, this is uh, a yes. Yes. You can. Because this is a you can. I can do it. You can. And this is yes. This is a reality check. This is a gift. You're being given a gift from God. A gift of stability, security, something long term. A long term partnership. It feels like you are headed towards a long term partnership with somebody. This is this is a very exciting. I think it's something that you that you did plant. The seeds you planted a long time ago. Uh, now they're definitely coming to fruition. Um, but there is some sort of setback. There is a setback because of some sort of deception. There's some sort of lies here. There's lies that need to be revealed before you are able to go down this path. There's some sort of, there's something below the surface that needs to be dealt with. You know, there's something that is hidden that needs to be seen. However that resonates with you. Okay. There's something that you're going to have to, there's a battle. Okay. That six of wands reverse is a battle. Okay. You're going to be fighting Fighting for, I don't know, justice or fighting for the win, fighting for uh, to get to the other side. You know, you're still in the middle of the battle. You're still you're still uh, needing to fight. You're still needing to come out of this this darkness. You're still needing to go down that new path. You know, you're still needing to. Uh, I don't know, go through some sort of awakening by the looks of things that, that hermit is awakening. It's wake up. Go within. You're going to need time. You're going to need time to heal. You're going to need time to go within. You're going to need time to figure this out. You're going to need time to, uh, what's the word for it? Smooth things over. You know, it feels like there's going to need some, you're going to need to do some smoothing out of whatever this is. Um, Ten of Cups is extreme happiness. So I don't think you really have anything to worry about. This is permanent love. It's happiness. It's fulfillment. Uh, it's choosing happiness. You're going to have a choice as well. You can choose to fight or you can choose to let it go. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. You can choose to fight or you can choose to let it go. The choice will be yours. The choice will be yours. You're going to have to make a choice by looks of things. And this has to do with some sort of toxic behavior or ego or pride or whatever. You're probably going to be in a, a state of despair, okay? 
um, you may in a, be in a deep, dark place, and you may maybe there's fear here. There could be fear. There could there probably is some fear. Fear of uh, going down a path, you know, putting in effort. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Um, you're definitely getting an opportunity for long-term success. This is a, something you can. This is something you can take to the bank. You're getting an opportunity that uh, you asked for. It. This is. This is like you manifested this opportunity. You asked for it. Here it is. They're giving you the opportunity that you asked for. Um, this is going to make you very, very, very happy. Be prepared to receive some sort of. I don't know, maybe it's congratulations. I don't know. What is this? A message. Excitement. It is exciting with this. This is very exciting. This is very positive energy. This one. It feels like you're going down a new path that leads you to a divine connection, right? This new path leads you to a partnership that you have asked for. But you are going to have to break free from illusion. You are going to have to break free from fantasy. You are going to have to let go of something that is over and grab on to the new opportunity. You got to stop fighting yourself. You got you to gotta let go of fear. Let go of fear. That hermit card is about going within. Time to withdraw. Think, think about your net. Think, 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 think. Realizing your true identity. Taking time alone to think about, you know, everything. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is, uh, Looking for love, right? That's a gift or an opportunity. Acting on feelings. Somebody is, is going to be, I don't know, maybe chasing you, searching for you, looking for you, chatting with you, loving on you. I think you're going to be socializing. You're going to be very, very happy. You're going to be receiving a lot of support from somebody. Somebody is going to be making a move. There could even be a proposal here. Somebody could definitely be getting proposed to. Whatever is happening, I think you're going to be thinking. This is a proposal. It's an offer. An offer that you, you know, could absolutely grab onto and it could last. But it does involve choosing you know, because that seven of cups is a choice. It is a choice. And it's a choice you have to choose wisely. Because once you make this choice, that, you know, what you own, owns you. You will have to live with it for the rest of your life or whatever. However long it is, you're going to have to live with it. So you're going to be making a very difficult choice in these next two weeks. Does lead to long-term success and a lot of happiness. And it will help you to break free from some sort of toxic behavior that has kept you slave. You know, you've been a slave to this behavior. You're going to be breaking free from that behavior. But it's not going to be easy. And you're going to have to work really, 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 really hard. And you're going to be working with somebody else. You're going to be working with somebody that you probably did not expect um, one more card. Two of Cups. That's a union. That is a union. You're, that's a partnership with somebody that uh, is right up your alley by the looks of things. Ooh, this is a wish being granted. So a wish is about to be granted. Do you ask for this? This is help arriving. After the tower falls, this is this is this is your fairy godmother answering your wish. 
So this is unexpected help arriving to help you heal from something. You're going to be healing this week or these two weeks. You may even be in the spotlight. So anyway, uh, Gemini, I feel as though in the next two weeks you are going to be making a choice to break free from some sort of toxic behavior that has been keeping you bound. It's been causing you a lot of delays in your life. It's been causing you ba bad health. This is unhealthy. Laziness, slob, you know, that kind of, no offense or anything. You know, it could be some food issues. Um, obsessions, addictions. I think you're going to be breaking free. You're going to be taking taking control, taking back control. I think that you are headed down a new path. I think this is a huge opportunity for success. Uh, there's really nothing to worry about. I think that you are going to be uniting in, with somebody that you are very uh, connected with. Uh, you're protected, okay, you are protected, You there's some sort of universal protection here, um, you will survive, so that's what I see, I do feel like, uh, you're going to be really happy with the outcome, and somebody is, somebody is going to be expressing their, their gratitude, or their feelings towards you, um, Good luck.